Ukrainian Prime Minister Denis Shimmel in Brussels as the war in Ukraine approaches its 200th day. He's asking the EU for more military support, further financial assistance and tougher retaliatory measures against Russia. The Ukrainian PM also made it clear during a meeting with European representatives that his country still needs help from them. And the EU's foreign policy chief says the 27-member bloc will not backtrack on its commitments. The main message from today's meeting to the whole world is that the European Union will continue supporting Ukraine, whatever threat, whatever blackmail Russia can put on us. We will provide our support politically, financially, humanitarian and military as long as it takes and as much as needed. Brussels has so far provided 2.2 billion euros in financial assistance to Ukraine, keeping its government afloat during the war. It's also granted 2.5 billion euros in military equipment through the so-called European Peace Facility Fund. The European Commission has just signed a new 500 million euro humanitarian support program. But is this going to be enough? This is a bare minimum. Uh, the IMF estimates that Ukraine uh, needs about five billion dollars and five billion euros a month. Uh, so the fact that the EU has pledged so far only a total of nine uh, six months into the war is clearly not uh, enough, in my opinion. According to some experts, the financial support is more important right now than any kind of military aid, given the country's urgent need for funds. The EU also has another effective way to tip the scales in favour of Ukraine, and that's more sanctions. Christopher Pidges, Euronews, Brussels.